Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rose. Thank you guys for stopping by. So we're gonna be doing these Christmas inspired glam. And as always, I am starting off with the brows and today I'm using MAC um, spiked brow pencil. And I actually trimmed off a little bit of my tail um, just so that I can shape them better like how I really want them to be so I'm definitely going to probably cut the entire tail off who knows but I'm pretty much just filling it in um, and then once I do that I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise base in rumor 2 and clean up the bottom portion as well as do the eye base setting it All right, so now that the eye base is set and ready and the brows are done, we're gonna go in with the Crayon Case, the Matte Book Palette, you guys. This palette is bomb. Whole bunch of colors and it's all matte. Shades are extremely pigmented and easy, easy, easy to blend. And you guys are gonna see while I am doing this look. So I pretty much used the reds the really really dark brown in the shade um and the whites and also like a burgundy maroonish type of shade as well to just help deepen the red a little bit um so those are the pretty much the shades that i did use in the palette and i'm gonna just start creating some magic so what i did was i took a really small defining brush as you guys see here it's really really small i think this one is from coastal scents um, I'll leave it down below if I can find the number of it and I pretty much started to um, place where I want my cut crease to be so I'm starting with the deepest shade first and then I go ahead and I take this pencil brush it's like a really small pencil brush um, just to blend it out a bit and this is from BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray brush collection and I pretty much do that and then I go back and forth you guys know me what I love to do is always go back and forth with my colors after blending if I feel as though um, some of the color you know pretty much went away um, now that I have that how I want it I go in with the red in the palette and I'm putting that right on top of the dark brown shade that I use and I am going to go back and forth with the shades to make sure the pigmentation is exactly how I want it to be and the color payoff is, you know, superb and the blending is good and all that good stuff. And once I get the red down, um, I do start to blend up towards the brow a little bit and I do use a darker burgundy shade as well to help deepen up the red. And then I used um, what you guys are seeing now, which is the white shade to help kind of blend and soften out that um, red shade, red shade, red shade so it's not so harsh.
Okay, so off camera, I did cut my crease because I always take forever to, to cut my creases. Um, if you guys are interested on how I cut my creases and the brushes I use, I will have it listed in the cards for you guys. I did a dedicated video on that. Um, so right now, I'm taking this brush from the crayon case, and I'm taking the white shade, and I'm applying that all over the lid to pretty much set the base so it doesn't move anywhere. So now that we have the lid covered in white, I'm gonna go right back in with that dark brown shade and I'm going to start creating a liner. Um, instead of using wing liner, um, I didn't really want a wing. Um, and then I didn't want to use a harsh black liner. I kind of wanted to keep that dark brown in the mix. So I'm using that to do somewhat of a liner. And then I'm also going to mix more of that red in it as well. Okay, so I actually forgot to show me applying the glitter, but I did put a little bit of glitter on top of the lid. And the glitter that I use is from ABH and it's called Flower Child. Super, super, super gorgeous. And then I also went in with my ABH foundation in 305N. Um, and I just pretty much blend it out with a beauty blender and whatnot. All right, so for concealer, I am gonna be using two concealers. I'm gonna be using this Pretty Fresh concealer from ColourPop. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Concealer. This concealer is actually really, really good. I've been using it um, after I did my little review, and it doesn't do the whole ball up, ball up effect that it was doing before, um, and it does mix very, very well with other concealers. I actually really, really enjoy it. So I use a Pretty Fresh one. Um, First, to help conceal the darkness under the eyes. And then I went in with the Maybelline Concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is more so for highlighting purposes. And I just pretty much blend the two. Um, and then I go in with my Jeffree Star Magic Powder. And this is in the shade Beige. Um, and I pretty much go ahead and set my face. So face is set, at least all the places we concealed. Now I'm going to go in with my Draw Cosmetics Honeymoon Palette. This is the Honeymoon Starlet Palette. Um, I do have a coupon code for you guys if you guys are interested. It is an affiliate code, 
affiliate code so I do get some commission um, it's Rose V M U A and you do get 30% off but I use the shade forever bronzer to bronze up the skin and then just to give a little bit more um, to help with like the whole contour I did go in with the Fenty Beauty um, what is it called Sunstalker bronzer and I use the shade Island team for that so you guys are gonna see me apply that now um, just to help deepen um, so that it also gives a contour and bronze effect as well the forever bronzer is such an amazing bronze shade for me um, the Sunstalker one that one's a little deeper so I actually like to use it a little bit more for contouring purposes and not so much of bronzing um, and then I do go back in with the honeymoon palette and I do use that blush shade I've always forget the name of that blush um, but it's literally my favorite from the palette it's super super pretty as you guys can see like and it makes so well with the bronzer oh just freaking stunning you guys Okay, so lower lashes is pretty much done. I mean, not the lower, the lower lash line is pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and take another Starlet palette from the from Draw Cosmetics, um, and I'm gonna be using two of my favorite highlighters from this palette, which is Marilyn, and I believe the other shade is called Grace. Um, and you guys are gonna see why I love it so much. It's blinding. Like, look at that just stunning you guys so pretty much gonna go ahead and apply that on now we got lips again draw cosmetics you guys draw cosmetics has some of my absolute favorite lip liners they are extremely extremely creamy and they glide on so so good and they when I mean creamy I don't mean creamy in a bad way it's just amazing though amazing so this shade here is mudslide it's actually one of my all-time favorite shades to use with nude lipsticks glosses all that so that's what I'm pretty much using here and then you guys are gonna see me put on um, ColourPop Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. Um, I believe it's called Sueño de Coco. That's the shade. Um, and then I do top on a gloss as well. And the gloss that I use is from Prieta Bella. Um, she is a indie brand, Latin owned. Her glosses are bomb. And the shade that I use is Playtime. And then I'll apply lashes, and lashes are Lily Lashes. I forgot the name. Sorry, I'll have a link down below for you guys. And that's pretty much the end of the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this holiday glam, Christmas glam. I hope you guys all have a merry, 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 merry Christmas. And I hope that you guys all got everything that you ever wanted. Please make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please make sure you guys are following me and subscribe if you're not already. And I love you bunches. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.